Hey everyone, it's Alana and Alex here and today we will take you on a tour of Winter Park, just north of Orlando, Florida. First stop here is Craft Azalea Gardens on Lake Maitland. There are many different areas through the garden for taking photos. Visitors can see many egrets flying around, collecting sticks for their nests and roosting in the nearby trees. This is a beautiful park with gigantic centuries-old banyan trees, perfect for stroll or having a picnic. In the winter and spring season, it's a hot spot for bird watching. There are a lot of benches to sit and read a good book or enjoy the tranquil serenity. The park located in a tree-shaded neighborhood with beautiful old homes. There are limited parking, so best to visit uh, this park during the weekdays as it gets busy and parking is full on the weekends. On my way to downtown Winter Park, I made a pit stop at Casa Feliz, a historical house dating back to the 1930s. What's really cool is that this brick house was actually moved from its original location several hundred feet away. Casa Feliz, also known as the Happy House, was designed by architect James Gamble Rogers II. Guided tours of the home and the grounds happening every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 am to noon with no charge. Also, this place is popular wedding venue. From Casa Feliz is about 10 minutes walk to downtown Winter Park. And first I decided to stop by Charles Hosmer Moore's Museum of American Art. This museum boasts in the world's most extensive collection of works by the American artist and designer Louis Comfort Tiffany. Galleries features works such as jewelry, pottery, paintings, art glass, lidded glass lamps and the windows. Don't miss his breathtaking chapel interior from 1893 World's Exposition in Chicago. Admission fee is only $6 and free parking available right next to the museum. The North Park Avenue has some lovely shops, of particular note is a chocolate shop, which is hard to walk by, 
and many small cozy restaurants as well. Given its convenient location along the Sunrail train route, many visitors arrive by train. It took me around 25 minutes to walk there, but just a quick 5 minutes drive to reach Mid Botanical Garden, which turned out to be my final stop of the day. Unlike the more formal botanical gardens I'm used to, Mid Botanical Garden is hidden away behind the modest brick fence with a subtle sign, easily overlooked from the road. However, once inside, I was greeted by nice waterway, local wildlife and lush greenery. In my opinion, it's more of a city park, around 40 acres with some short trails, small lakes and variety of plants and trees. Here is no admission fee and a lot of free parking next to the entrance. That's it for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos!